Now, down here in the comfort of the living room with the AC going, I can start sorting through all of this. And then air conditioning. We will get down to just one floral tote that can go in the attic. Like I said, the party stuff, that will be going downstairs. Well, no, not the not downstairs. The party stuff's gonna go in the office because we're gonna move some other stuff out that I'll show you right here. Last that night, filing cabinet Hello, and the little table right that the now. printer is on, those are going out because that table the printer is on is broken anyway. And we will put the drawers there for the printer to sit on. And then the shelves that I found the other month and the brackets that you and saw in the attic, they will go out. above all of that. And that is where or things like things cards, screening like cards, and party supplies, moving wrapping supplies can go on sections. those shelves. Because it's stuff that we're gonna keep, but we don't need it to be immediately accessible. Another thing that I really wanna do is to have some kind of like map. <laughs> These buried treasures. <laughs> No, but things that are going to stay up here, like how I didn't have any idea where the food dehydrator was or that we even had one up here, you know, uh, and where I'm not sure where the, the slow cooker is that's up here somewhere. If I had some kind of map that I posted, say, on this, this beam, then I would know, oh, well, that green tote is stored back there. So that's something I am going to do as I begin working on this today. Let's jump in and get this space cleared so that I can roll up all of these sleeping bags, those ones and the ones back there, and get them organized in that empty back corner. And by doing so, we'll be able to get to that space, which is the, the um, gifting station but we're also going to try anyway. It's gonna be really hot today and I can already feel it up here. The heat wave has arrived. So we'll see how much we can do, but if we're able to get over to this, that would be wonderful. It's <laughs> it's gonna be a bazillion degrees today. What does that mean? How much is it? Right so now? hot. What are you asking for? Cocoa. <laughs> Why don't you just like stand outside? Go stand on the porch. I don't want to. I want cocoa. So someone asked, "Why don't I just have the kids help me?" Well, today I slept in and didn't get up here, and the kids were awake before me. Why is it easier for me to do this before you guys wake up? <laughs> it's a good thing you're so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. So I got those three totes down. There was the, um, with like flowers and foliage. And I brought up the other dehydrator that I knew that we had that was in the office. So... The one that I found up here, I put over there, and then once I get these totes out of here and get that shelving unit figured out, then, like I had talked about yesterday, the dehydrator and, like, the crock pot and the canning pot and, like, apple peeler and cherry pitter, all of that can go over here with canning lids and canning supplies. Um, I found, see, you just never know, this is why I call it dumpster diving in the attic, because there's a surprise around every corner and behind every tote. <laughs> I have a whole huge bag of like cushioning wrap for packing, for shipping that I completely forgot that I had. That is, of course, all salvage from the dumpster. And in fact, I would dare to say that at least probably 75% of what's up here was salvaged from the bins. Now, of course, there are some things that are not. Some of these totes, like I paid for that tote 20 years ago and that one 10 years ago. <laughs> and some things have been given to us and shared with us. But I mean, look around. You will recognize so many things from the dumpsters. I know you will. You know these totes that hold the ornaments. 
I know you remember these and sparkly things that are decorations and the shelves that I still need to put up. There's the brackets. There's the wrapping paper holder. Um, there's those sleeping bags. Yes, we actually use them. In fact, we were camping just the other weekend and that's why everything got stuffed up here. Uh, that huge frame, all those beads, you know I'm finding beads and more beads <laughs> all throughout uh, the year, especially right after holidays. So, um, in fact, right here, more camping supplies, and there's that huge thing of the Purell that we found only the other week. So, yeah, and then, like, the Christmas, <laughs> oh, 99% of that is from the bins that's in those totes. So, this is what happens with dumpster diving. You find so many useful things, many of which you do use, even on a regular basis, and then others that are good, say, like all this poster paper, that are good to have on hand for school projects and art projects. You have so much of it, though, way more than you could ever possibly use, but then you're always bringing in more. Even as you're trying to sell and share and donate, there's still more coming in constantly. In our case, every week. And this is what can happen even with the most well-laid plans. If you're not able to stay on top of them and keep your, your plan and your, your systems going, this will happen. All right, PSA over. Time to work on getting these totes where they need to go. Nope, just go set it on the pile of stuff. Thank you so much. These guys are, they are great helpers. They really are. And it is helping having them grab some of the stuff. I took several things down by myself at first, but it, it is definitely helpful handing them down things that they can manage. All right, I've got to get this Christmas stuff moved out of the way so that I can finish clearing the space back there. And then that is where this tote of memories will go. Mm, excuse me. I've got these two totes over here. One is Valentine's Day and one is uh, Easter. They will be staying up here, but not right in that spot. We almost have enough room cleared over here to start rolling up sleeping bags. I am saying that is progress, especially with how hot it is up here. Okay, so in pulling stuff out, I am shocked and amazed. I thought for sure I had sold this years ago, but I didn't. It's right here. It's my husband's old PS2, his PlayStation. And all the like remotes and stuff. And then these are bags that go to my um, wax bath. And there's even some paraffin that goes to my wax bath, which I'm absolutely going to need for my hands after this. Stay tuned. I will bring you along for that on my Frugal Mama's Time Out Grown Up channel uh, later on <clears throat> when I do my wax bath for my hands. But I, I could have sworn I had sold that years ago. But no, it was sitting right back there in that dark little space. Like I said, you just don't know. You never know what's waiting for you. Mommy, do you need video games? Are you excited about that? Yes. Yeah? I am too, but do you need Yeah, games? but we have found some games too in the bins, so. so I don't know, we'll see, okay? It's been up in the hot attic, we'll see if it even still works, all right? I believe it's worth work. <laughs> Thanks for getting that down for me. All right, you can go set it over there with the other stuff. You can look at the the controllers that are under it if you want to. Okay, let's see if it's but um, there's some bags in there. Oh, I get this one. No. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, those little bags, one has wax and one has like plastic bags in it. Set those over with the other things, please. All right, so I'm going to have to clean off these shelves, figure out what I want to do with the things that are here. There are things that we actually use, but not often, you know. Ooh, there's a really awesome, look at that. When did I get that? Well, you know, I've got to <laughs> go put that on the, hold on, honey, the Pirates of the Caribbean section in the kitchen up on the cupboards. But anyway, I've got to figure out what's going on with all that. There's like a tote of tape and odds and ends, um, little trays that we found in the craft store bins that we use when traveling. We haven't done a lot of traveling of late, 
but that is something that we do, and so I do want to hold on to those. And I'm thinking I might, hmm, oh, I don't know. This would be the place to have them here, not the fog machine. That should be out in the Halloween stuff. See, right there. Um, there is a tote of potpourri. I never use the potpourri. That little tote of potpourri, I have had probably at least 10 years. Most likely, it's not even still good, so that needs to go. It's time to just be honest with myself about what I'm actually going to use. You do eventually have to admit that some stuff, <laughs> it is never going to happen, and it's not worth having it take up space and, and having it hanging over your head, literally in this case, because it's in the attic. I am going to move the things from this area over to the space that we have cleared because there is some stuff back here I want to get to. There is a tote of miscellaneous and I can see that it has some floral stuff in it and where I got all the floral stuff down already and want to get that all organized. It just makes sense to go ahead and do that. Also, there are party supplies over here and I'm getting all of those downstairs to sort through. So I've got to move the St. Patrick's tote and Christmas totes and then this Christmas ornament tote over to the other side so that I can bring some of these things down. It is definitely getting hot up here. I I mean, maybe 15 more minutes and I have to get up earlier next time. I know I keep saying that, but I really need to. I've managed to pull the tote over so that I can see what's going on. And from doing that, I can see that I've got two suitcases over here. And I actually think that suitcase has another suitcase inside it. And then we've got several other suitcases over here. I don't think I had any idea how many suitcases I actually have. <laughs> so we will, um, that's not gonna happen today, but we will get all of the suitcases together and they shouldn't have to be back in that back corner anymore. I do have a lot of traveling in mind. And so it would be nice to have the suitcases right where we can reach them. But uh, that's not happening right now. So over here, you'll see there's this drawer thing and then like three more over there. Those need to come down. Hopefully that will happen tomorrow. We'll get those down and condense, go through and sort, get rid of some things, move some stuff on, sell it in the yard sale that's coming up. And then I want to get down to just two units, which will be going down in the office. And that's where we will have gifting and party supplies uh, so that we can easily and quickly get to them and they will no longer be up here. But first, we need to go through this tote, which has cards and gifting supplies and crafting supplies and flowers and fabrics. And this is all recently from the dumpsters or from all of those cleanouts that I went around and picked up during the height of the pandemic. Oh my goodness, this is the last thing that I will do today. It is just too hot up here. But uh, first thing tomorrow, we will get these sleeping bags rolled up and put back in that back corner. And of course, all those sleeping pads. You can only do what you can do, frugal friends, but as long as you just keep going, it will get done, the stuff will happen, but that's what it comes down to, taking a break from bringing more stuff in while you slowly but steadily deal with the stuff you already have. All right, that tote is empty, and this will be going down, and then now we will be able to get to those things tomorrow. Um, you're gonna look over here and you're gonna be like, but what happened? <laughs> Guys, that is one of the, the problems with the situation. You've got to move stuff out of the way in order to deal with the other stuff to then deal with the stuff that you moved out of the way. But progress is absolutely happening. If you can't see that, well, I don't know what to tell you, but it is definitely happening. Oh boy. Now, obviously, tomorrow... This is what I'll have to deal with first so that I can finally roll up those blasted um, <laughs> uh, sleeping bags and stuff and get those out of the way. So yes, this is what I will deal with first thing right away, hopefully early, earlier than today. 
Um, there are clothes that are for the kids, uh, mostly Mariah, that we need to hold on to. I need to figure out where I want to put them. This comes back to the map because I'm thinking stuff like that is going to go back under the eaves. But I want to know that it's there and remember to get them down and have her try them on before they don't fit anymore. So the map idea, I think, is definitely the way to go. That's where those will go. Then over here in this tote and the bag right there, that's all winter stuff, gloves and hats and scarves. Those... Um, same idea, they'll have to go under the eaves because, again, we don't use them all the time, but we do need them. So, the map. I think that's that's definitely the way. We've got a bunch of crafting supplies. Uh, as I've been finding odds and ends of crafting stuff, I've just been putting them over here, over here, over here to finally deal with. We've got sheet music. I need to make some tough choices or I need to figure out a way and a place to store those as the kids are now going to be getting back into their music. Um, Christmas, again, we are going to have to go through and make more hard choices, tough choices. Look forward probably to my first mystery box that I will sell being Christmas stuff. <laughs> Let me know if you're interested. Uh, everyone's talking about me selling mystery boxes or live sales. At this point, it's going to be crafting and Christmas. I do not know when that will happen. We'll do a trial run once I am done with this round of the attic. So that's what that stuff is. It looks like it's all a mess again, but it actually is organized. It just needs to go to its new homes, and then we need to make tough choices. Whoo! It's happening, guys. It is happening. Slowly but surely, it's happening. Please tell me in the comments what things you are working on, I want to know, so that we can mutually support each other. That filing cabinet and the little table that the printer is on, those are going out because that table the printer is on is broken anyway. And we will put the drawers there for the printer to sit on. And then the shelves that I found the other month and the brackets that you saw in the attic, they will go above all of that. And that is where things like cards, greeting cards, and party supplies, wrapping supplies can go on those shelves. Just kidding. <laughs> I had another quick little burst of energy. So I went ahead and handed that one party thing down to Lulu and moved the suitcases so that I could get to this tote, which is also going to go under the eaves. And in doing that, I was so excited to find this, which I was trying to do a review video on last winter and then couldn't remember where I had put them. They are these Trex ice and snow traction shoe things. Had no idea where they had ended up, and I have found them. How cool is that? Start cleaning up, guys. You're going to find the stuff <laughs> either that you didn't know you had, you forgot you had, or you couldn't find. There you go. Going to move this tote under the eaves, and then for reals, we're done for today.